Welcome back to Fallout 76, everybody. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me again. In the last episode, we went running around Appalachia collecting some uh, paired key cards and some other stuff that allowed us to get some uh, plans for some Nuka Cola Quantum paint for the X01 armor. And one of the places that we had to visit uh, while we were running around Appalachia was a place we actually hadn't visited before. Holy cow, it put me way down here. Uh, this place called Ingram Mansion. So, um, wow, what's going on over here? Something. A lot of people over here. Feed the people. Huh. Anyway, um, so I wanted to come back here and uh, explore this place since we didn't do it in the last episode. And that's what we're going to do. I wonder why this place is a restricted area. I'm hoping that we'll learn, you know, some story about this place as we explore it. I like it when there's a story. We've got a door here we need to unlock. There's a body in there. There's another door around back, which is kind of interesting. This one's also locked. All right, well, let's go ahead and unlock it. We want to get in here and check this place out. So this dude sat on this chair and fell over, I guess. I don't know. We've got a pistol here. We've got some 44 rounds, which I'm not interested in. Not even a little bit, but the desk fan. Yes, please. Nothing in the duffel bag. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'll take the carrot. So uh, that's pretty much all there is here is a little guard shack with a phone, I guess. And uh, <laughs> I got a bit of a drop off there. Pretty excited to explore this place. This is as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm actually really surprised that I hadn't been here before because even before this this icon was here, this fountain looking thing was here, which pretty much tells you that something's here, right? Uh, I have to guess that that was a place that, you know, like maybe when I visited Monongo Overlook earlier in the game, I saw this over here and said, we'll come back to that later. Well, we are. We've got two people, Bob and Sharon, running around over there. It's pretty cool. Check out the view over here. Looking down into Morgantown, I believe. Is that where we're looking? Yeah. That's pretty neat. So there's the mansion way down there. Don't know what kind of enemies we're going to come across, but I hope we come across some because uh, as I play this, it's another double experience points weekend. And um, before I started playing, I... Um, Went back to my um, camp and I rested so that I would get experience points plus 5%. Why not? See, there's the double XP right there. Plus 5% extra experience points. I'll take it. So we hear one of those um, officer dudes up ahead. Let's start sneaking. Vats has picked up a Scorched Warrior. Scorched Officer hiding over here. Don't know where he went. Yep, sure enough, there's a big fountain right in front. That's what we see on the map. Here at Ingram Mansion. What's this? Oh, those are firecracker berries? No, ginseng roots. I don't even know if I've seen that in the game before. Surely I have, right? Well, this guy was a paramedic. Don't know why he doesn't have any goodies on him, though. Where did the Scorched go? Don't know. So this place... Looks like it's been abandoned for a really long time. Where the heck did that Scorched go? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Interesting. I didn't think I hit him, but I guess maybe I did. Looks like there were a couple people trying to get in here. Maybe right at the last second. I hear people walking around in here. Oh, there he is. He did. We got a fountain here, which is pretty cool.
Over here we've got a little golf cart. Some chairs. Uh, you can imagine once upon a time this was probably a pretty nice place. Um, I guess these were the front doors way over here, maybe. They're boarded up now, so it's like we're going to have to like go in through a window. That's okay. It's no problem. Oh, this is boarded up as well. Hmm. I'm going to take this just to shut it up because I don't like listening to it. I just don't like it. Oh, this is boarded up as well. Something bashed through that wall there. Okay, can't go any further that further that way. Here's the old phone on the wall here. Maybe that's um, the phone they used to uh, talk to the guard post out front. I guess we're going to have to go around back and go in the way we went in before. I'm going to be a little disappointed if this is it for this place. There is an upstairs up there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there or not. Let's go around this way. Let's see. Let's go around this way. When we came here before, we went around the other way. Let's go this way this time instead. Okay, good. There's a ladder here. Ooh, Zet Tracks 999 purchased the plasma core. Cool. All right, before we go upstairs, let's look around back here. Huh? Are these guys really dead? They are really dead. Okay. Get the old barbecue grill out back here. Good place to break an ankle. Quite a view. bench there. Just looking. Just seeing what there is to see. There's a dam down there. Grafton Dam. So this is um, where we visited just in the last episode. We came here and uh, used this terminal, but we don't need to do that again. We did it last time. I will take that cool typewriter, though. Just picking up some stuff. Um, who knows what other materials I'll need to uh, complete the um, X-01 power armor. Oh, I don't want to craft something. I wanted to scrap something. Whoops. But yeah, um, we need uh, more black titanium to f finish painting our X-01 armor. Uh, but that's okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to it. Actually, when I started this episode, I was um, still at that mine that I was at at the end of the last episode. But um, there were no um, mole miners there. 45 rounds, I will take those up. I'm going to take these pillows. You never know, there could be something underneath of them. Okay, somebody's been here before me, I guess. I don't know. 45 rounds, yes. Here's a trunk. Um, I don't think I want any of these. Yeah, maybe I'll take that. Maybe I'll learn something. Here's a safe here. I'll go ahead and unlock it. I was really hoping that there would be something here to... Kind of explain the story of this place. Fusion cells we could sell. Eh. I'll pick that stuff up. Nothing under any of these pillows in here. So this is pretty much it for this. Uh, it's kind of looking like this is pretty much it for this whole mansion, really. Um, 
walk out here. A chair here. And um, our only other option. Got some paint here. Is to uh, walk up here, but I don't think this is going to take us anywhere interesting. Certainly doesn't look like it, does it? Well, this is one of the more disappointing places I've visited. Um, I was really expecting there to be more to it than this. But uh, it's looking like this is pretty much it. Kind of lame, really. I mean, unless I'm just flat out missing something, which is certainly possible. Let's face it. But no... More 45 rounds right away. No story elements here. No reason. Well, not no reason. No. Um. Nothing that tells us who lived here. Why it was abandoned. Yeah, nothing at all. Oh well, that's uh, kind of disappointing. Pretty disappointed actually. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, didn't learn anything from either one of those. I mean, even in here, there's nothing. Um, if you look at this terminal, I think the only thing it does is generates a key. So there's not there's nothing else to learn from that. So well, there you go. Ingram Mansion, not the most exciting place in the world. Um, my compass. Shows some places in that direction, but it's a long way down. This, these are those are probably things in uh, or, uh, Morgantown, right? I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking down here at Fraternity Row and Morgantown High School. And if I look in the other direction, well, there's the uh, mansion itself, and then beyond that is uh, Monongo Overlook. And my compass isn't showing anything else interesting in that direction is the dam. So, yeah, that's um. That's pretty much it for this place. Huh. Okay, well. I was expecting that to last more than about 10 minutes there. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. Alright. Well, now what? Now what are we going to do? Well. Uh, I, I, I don't know, to tell you the truth. If you ever need ginseng root, this is the place to come get it, it seems like. Ooh, somebody bought, uh, Cashly X bought a bunch of my 5mm rounds. That's pretty awesome. I like that. It's always exciting when I sell something. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. Some, somewhat exciting, sure. Looks like there's a bit of a path here. But we know this is just going to take us back down to, um... Morgantown. And we've already been to Morgantown several times, actually. But, um, I know I've never, like, walked this path before, so it's kind of interesting. This a deposit of something over here. Oh, what is this? It's pretty gold. Get us some gold there. Well, what I wouldn't mind doing is, um, getting some more black titanium. Uh, but I don't know where else to go. Um, a couple of locations I went to in the last episode. I'm guessing that the mole miners will still be dead from when I was there before. I'm just guessing. I don't know. But uh, now I'm just kind of exploring this hillside here because I don't think I've ever walked on it. Just see if there's anything interesting out here. Kind of looking like not, huh? It's pretty. But, uh, yeah. Not a whole lot going on. So, what does that mean? What does it all mean? Well, what it means is... We bring up our map. And, um, we see if there's someplace else we haven't been that we could explore, maybe. Uh, up here is Site Bravo, a place we haven't been to. Um, this whole area here, looks like there's a 
a little vault in that direction. Oh no, that's vault Tech University. And if we look in this direction, there's really nothing at all in this part of the world. This whole big open space down here. Nothing down here at all. Nothing that's showing up on my compass, so... Uh, there's a couple of things showing up. There's, um... Well, right now it's just showing me this power plant over here. We've been here before and we've done this powering up Mananga before. We don't need to do it again. Just want to see if anything shows up on my compass. Anything that I haven't discovered yet. Nope. Right now you can see there's like a golf course there. And that golf course is right down here. So there's nothing between here and there at all. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I guess what I could do is, um, since I don't know off the top of my head where we might find more mole miners. Uh, I mean, I guess you actually, now that I think about it, there are... Seems like I remember, yeah, sure enough, down here, maybe at abandoned mine shaft or at the at this train yard or maybe here, there were mole miners. You, I guess there's mole miners at any of these locations, huh? Where um, you see these, uh, yeah, I don't know if I remember seeing them at Big Bend Tunnel before, but um, maybe at the burning mine, any of these mines, we might see more mole miners. Let's uh, take a very long trip across the map here to this abandoned mine shaft. I do not know what that's a picture of. What is that? I I don't I don't remember that. What is that thing? Well, whatever it is or was, I killed it and then I took a picture of it. Okay. So, Let's shut him up. I'm actually going to go down there just like I did last time and pick up this key code from him because I don't like to listen to it. It's just something about it that bugs me, this sound. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. And uh, we're going to see if there's some mole miners around here. Pretty sure... I already explored this place before. I'll take a ribeye steak. Yeah, it seems like I remember seeing this thing and thinking it was weird that I couldn't get into it. Something like glowing down there. Don't know what that is. But the mine itself is up there. And uh, we'll see if there's any mole miners up there. But first, oh, that's just a really, really bright light down there. Super bright, man. Okay, let's go up here and see if there's some mole miners that we could kill and take their black titanium from. This is a really neat part of the map. It looks so different than any other part of the map. I kind of like it. Been kind of quiet up here. Not getting like not many, not any mole miners, which is a shame. Somebody was cooking some mongrel dog meat. Well, looks like there's going to be just some stupid feral ghouls around here instead of mole miners. Oh man, those guys are fast. See how fast they were running across there? Damn. Oh, there's a bunch of them too. Golly, man, he's moving fast. He's creeping me out. Luckily, they're low level and they're easy to kill. <laughs> Whew, thank goodness there wasn't another one. I needed to reload. Oh, I just picked up some stupid ammo I don't want. Oh, well. No mole miners here, huh? What was this? Okay. Well. Oh, well. My gear has protected me from lung disease. Really? What am I wearing that's protecting me from lung disease? I don't know. There's a short gamma gun over there. I don't see a lot of those. I'll go ahead and pick it up. I wonder what these guys were trying to do here. Why are they 
Why are they petrified right here? It's like they're reaching for something. Well, it's a shame, man. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on, let me drop everything and drink something. Um, and then eat something, like maybe this? I don't know. And, um, we have some apples for dessert. Man, that almost looked like it took health away from me when I ate it. Um, what else do I have that I could eat? I do see these snack cakes, but I'm not eating those for some reason. I don't need this spoil stuff, but whatever. I don't know, I'll eat some ribs. There. Well, now that I'm here, and there's no um, mole miners, now what do I do? I mean, I've already been here. I don't really want to look through all this stuff again. Right? Mm, I don't really care about this stuff. But I could sell the 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter rounds. I just sold a bunch of it, so why not pick up more of it? Okay, no mole miners here. Uh, but what I do want to do is see if there's anything that shows up on my um, compass as I look around. And that direction is something that is not on my map. So let's walk towards that. See the thing? It looks like maybe a, like a camper or something. We're going to walk towards it. And um, see what it is. See, in that direction is a town... I'm looking over here towards Welch, but in this direction is like a camper. In that direction, there's a um, a workbench over here that's not on my uh, map, but then right next to it is uh, Beckley and Sal's grinders, which are on my map. So, I mean, we've been out here. This is such a neat looking place. I love that big piece of machinery sitting up there. It's so cool looking. But this, this looks like this would be a place where mole miners would hang out. Seems like maybe we'd just run into some somewhere. I just wanted to come up here and get close to this because it's neat looking. Thought I saw something walking. Kind of peaceful out there, out here. Um, don't see any players running around out here, although Mizzou gunfighters run not too far away. Huh. Got a bit of a fire burning there. Vats isn't picking anything up. That's weird. It looks like there's something there in my crosshairs, but when I zoom in on it, there's like... There's nothing there. Kind of weird, huh? What am I walking towards? What is this? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Oh, in that direction is... What am I looking at there? Ooh, there's something else that's not on the map. You see that on my, co my compass there? There's like a factory or something in that direction. Out here. Okay, cool. So we're doing a little bit of exploring, you know. Part of the map that I haven't spent a lot of time in. Uh, the few times I've been here, I, I've kind of gotten in and gotten out. Okay, let's crouch and do a little bit of sneaking in case there's something here. A legendary. And I killed it quite easily, I must say. Okay, I don't want to lose track of that legendary. He's right in front of me. Another, another legendary? Nicholson's end. Did I just kill two legendaries? Easy breezy. Here we go. Nocturnal mole miner gauntlet. Well, not exactly what I'm looking for, but okay, I'll take it. Damage increases with the night and decreases with the day. And then... Where's the other one that I killed? I... I thought I killed two of them. Sure seemed like it. 
Well, I guess unless it came back to life, which I wouldn't put it past this game. This is just a regular old mongrel here. Legendary Vicious Mongrel. He has a Hunter's 10mm pistol. That... Plus 30% damage to animals. Well, that's kind of mean. So again, not something I'm interested in. I guess I'll trade it in for script, maybe. Both of those weapons there. So, interesting. I was not expecting to find anything legendary out here. Boy, there sure wasn't much legendary about those guys, were there? They were pretty damn easy to kill. But I don't feel like I got anything all that great from them either. Shotgun shells, I could probably sell those. Cool TV there. See, this is what I want in my camp. I want that TV in my camp, man. I'm going to pick that up and take it back with me. Rad X there. Here's a steamer trunk. Um... I don't think I do anything. I don't know, maybe I sell those? I don't know. Stim pack. I don't want the machine gun. I'll take that and scrap it. I mean, even the plunger, I'll take that. Now these, um, I always think of as like, um, super mutant beds, right? These things here. I don't know what else they'd be used for. This place, what was it called? Nicholson's End? So this looks like it was a it was a bit of a trailer park here, huh? This one here. It's like completely buried. And here's more signs of super mutant activity. But uh, it's pretty peaceful out here, really. There's not, not a whole lot going on. Here's like an old house over here. What's left of one anyway? Let's go take a quick look at it. There's several houses here. bunch of junk nothing nothing in here that I'm interested in bathtub up there don't know if it's worth trying to get up there or not probably not if I had that mutation you guys keep telling me to get maybe I could jump up there but I just haven't really felt like doing the mutation thing. Can't really explain why. It just sounds complicated. I'll do it eventually. Okay, I'm getting away from... Oops, where I was headed. Let's go back down here to this trailer park place. It's lit up kind of eerily. It's kind of neat, though. Um... There's like a big old spike here. There's like a anchor on it. It's a bunch of hooks, skeleton heads, AKA skulls, nets, cars. It's kind of nautical, but I don't think we're anywhere near water. Right? I mean, we look at the map and there's a river here, but it's just interesting how nautical that looks. Welch and Mount Blair in that direction. Well, there's Welch. I don't know what or where Mount Blair is. Don't know if that's another place that we can discover. But we're going to look around in here. Check this place out now. I can get up on top of here if we want. More of these things. Gosh, it's so dead here. It's so it's spooky how dead it is. It's kind of neat that you could walk around on top of these things. Little uh, picnic area over there. Something lit up down there. Man, those lights are bright. So it's kind of looking like maybe there's a raider camp here. Because I don't think that super mutants are building these walkways. 
Don't think so, anyway. Cage up there. That could be Super Mutants or Raiders. They both suck. Cooking station here. Hey, maybe I could cook up this uh, mongrel meat that I just picked up. In case I get hungry. Whoops. Uh... Carrot soup. Glowing meat steak. Why not? Royal jelly taffy. What the hell? Where'd I get royal jelly from? I don't know. Let's not ask those questions. Yeah, see, again, that's looking super mutant-y. But, uh... Nothing here, man. Barbed Walking King mod. No, thank you. Not even a little bit interested in that. There's a normal bed. Uh, 556 five, rounds. Yes, please. I'll take those. Those I am definitely interested in. Okay, not much, uh... Oh, yay, a footlocker. I'm sure there'll be something great in here. Move on over to the next building. See if there's anything interesting in here. I like the flamingos. This place is, uh... Kind of boring, really. Not, not much here to see or nothing to learn. Yeah, okay. Alrighty then, there you go. There's another trailer. Uh, here is uh, this little picnic area that we saw from the roof. Up there, bicycle here, little dog house, take the dog bowl, it's made out of plastic, just like this doll is. This looks like a place that uh, there would be like a buried treasure. Makes me wonder if there's like a map that points to this place, I don't know why I think that, it just kind of looks like it. Okay, this is the building we were just in. It looks like there's a fence over here. Yeah, sure enough, we got a fence. But there's still a few more buildings to look at in here. I'm sure there's going to be something really, really interesting and exciting in one of them. That's a neat clock. I wouldn't mind having that in my camp. Get loose screws. Take some of that. See? Definitely super mutants were here. Chicken thigh. It's kind of random. Picked it up just because uh, it's not something you see every day. Three oh eight rounds, I could sell those. Well, this is uh pretty much it for this place called Nicholson's End. Is that what it's called? Nicholson's End. Yeah, that's about it, man. Not uh not anything terribly interesting going on here, but in that direction is what seems like a, looks like a factory according to my compass. So let's go walk over here and check it out. Something up on top of this hill. It's interesting, this uh, line right here. 
Don't know if this is just um, an artifact of the way they built this gaming world, or if that is something. I don't know. But where I want to go is up here. See if I get up here. Need to get up on these rocks somehow. I've done a pretty good job climbing up here. Okay. It is so quiet here. I mean, they've really done a nice job with the ambience. It just feels so different. You know? They've done a really nice job. I don't know where there's going to be a factory out here. There's like nothing here. Really curious to see what it is we're going to come across. There's that line again. Look at this. Or a different line. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Oh, well, there's like two factories out here. Huh. Okay, well, let's go to this one since it looks like we're closer to it. Very interesting. I'm really intrigued. Hopefully it's more interesting than the other things we've explored thus far in this episode. Ingram Mansion was kind of lame. And uh, Nicholson's End was kind of lame. So let's hope that this is more interesting. Well, there's a fence around it. Looks like more raider markings, maybe. Well, I mean, it's not what I'd call a factory. One of these little huts. I know I keep saying this, but this whole place is so weird. I gotta expand my vocabulary. I use the word weird a lot. Let's go see what's over here. We'll come back. Let's see what this is. Oh, there's a golf cart there. There's one of those lines again. That's neat. This, these rocks, that tree sitting on it. Let's see if there's anything interesting over here. Well, this woman here. Oh, well, here's the golf bag. Some garden gnomes. What the hell? It's like a shallow grave. Why are. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> What? What is this a story that's been trying to be told here? There's a bunch of gnomes in here. Look, this guy's like, you can bury me with my gnomes. He's like got his arms around the gnomes here. And his freaking golf bag on top of him. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, weird. See? Weird. Uh, what have we got going on here? Another garden gnome. Here is um, a dead body on a couch. Okay. What would happen if I sat on the couch? Would I just sit on top of the dead body? Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. <laughs> Pardon me, good sir. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. This place makes me sad. I can't even get into the fridge. Look at this place. This pathetic folding chair and this wimpy table here. Still attached to the truck that was pulling it. Grafton Steel building tomorrow. <laughs> A couple of garden gnomes here. This garden gnome up here. <laughs> Somebody put an A over top of the second E in steel to turn it into like stealing. 
<laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, just just your little random crap. Don't know what's up with the gnomes there, but there are quite a few of them there. If you want some gnomes to put in your camp, there you go. That's a good spot to go get some. Okay, let's start creeping again. I'm not even sure what the heck that's supposed to be. Some speakers and a red light, maybe? I don't know. Got some canisters over here. Canisters? Uh, what are they? What do you call these? It's not coming to me. Um. Whatever. Big boxes that carry things. We can't get into any of them, though. Doesn't look like. Cargo containers. Maybe that's what you call those. That's what I'm going with. Cargo container. I like that better. Just a bunch of them here. Looks like somebody had a little camp set up in here for a while. 50 caliber balls. I don't want those. Although, I think I could sell those. I don't know, man. Sometimes I pick things up, sometimes I don't. It's, really not, it's best not to think about it too too much. You might hurt yourself. I'm really disturbed by how quiet it is. <laughs> it's so freaking quiet. There's nothing here. Nothing. No enemies. No. No nothing. Hornwright testing site number two. Cool looking machinery there. Okay. Could get on top of this building if we want to. And of course there's a mannequin. Why not? You know? We got gnomes over there. We got mannequins up here. Just one mannequin though. What is the story with the damn mannequin up here? Craziness. The music uh, actually does a really nice job of setting the stage, too, don't you think? I think so. Okay. Mm, door we need to unlock there. Well, we have the technology. We have the skill. We can unlock this door. That's a cool clock, too. Kind of like that. It's pretty neat. All right, let's unlock this. Oh, man. That was my favorite bobby pin. Ah, so close yet so far away. Oh, goody. More things to unlock. Ow! Oh. I don't even want to get in this thing anyway. There's not going to be anything good in it. Three or eight rounds. I can sell those. I don't know. Picking stuff up. Well. This is, um... Hornwright testing site number two and I'm going to guess that uh, the other 
factory looking thing that I see on my compass is another testing site, I guess, huh? In that direction there. Not seeing anything else back in that direction is Nicholson's End. Look at this big hole here. But uh, before we go to the big hole, we need to go to this other site on our map. Or on our compass, I should say. Well, uh, these weird random places on the map. Just uh, places to stop by and visit if you want. We're uh, petrified over there. And like this place is like always dark. I mean, it's it's probably the middle of the day right now. Yep, the sun's up there, but it's just so so much ash in the in the air that it's it just pretty much always stays this dark. Houses over there. That's the little town of Welch right there. Something else showing up on my compass here. A mine. Let's see if we can make it up here. I actually remember this. I remember those buildings. I sure do. I remember coming down that hill fighting a bunch of something. I don't remember what, but it was part of an overseer's mission, I think. Okay. We found abandoned mine shaft one. And there's some aluminum here. That uh, we're going to take. Because we can. Abandoned mine shaft one. It's a fissure in that direction. Oh, somebody's walking around. Oh, golly jeepers. <laughs> oh, we got another one of these things floating here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was exciting for a split second there, huh? So quiet, and then you got these guys running at you full speed. But anyway, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, there's a fisher site down there that I'm really in no hurry to get to. In this direction is a mine, according to my compass. Fuel. I don't think I need fuel. I don't think that's something that I'm selling. I like the sound that it makes when you pick up a light bulb. It's a nice sound. Well, I mean, here's uh, more of this mongrel dog meat sitting about. I don't think I picked it up last time, but this time I am. Just to keep things interesting. You never know what I'm going to do next. Plastic plate? Yes, please. Got ourselves a weapons workbench here. Feral Ghoul Reaver down there. Look at this place. Weird. What is that? Let's go in here. Pick up some stuff, because it's what we do. Um, kind of a storage place, I guess. Pitchforks there. A spittoon. Let's go see what's down here, man. This is looking really interesting, huh? Oh, it's very, very, very radioactive. 
It is very, very radioactive. Now, <laughs> I've got this uh, armor. I used to use the excavator armor for situations like this, and I don't know whether this X01 armor is as good uh, versus um, radioactivity, but well, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. My first time wearing this. Look, there's a fusion core sitting right there. Do you see it? Right here, fusion core, just sitting here. Take that. And then we're gonna pop a uh, rad X. Right? Do I have this sorted? I guess I do. I didn't realize I had sorted it. Rad X. Um, well, I mean, there's really nothing too terribly interesting down here. Certainly not worth the, um, radioactivity we're experiencing. But, uh, I'll probably regret it if I walk in there, but we're going anyway. Okay, I thought it was going to be deeper than that. You never know, man. Sometimes that's how you find cool things. It's worth a look. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, I'm going to get out of this power armor. Oh, well, that was weird. Did you see that? It's <laughs> pretty bizarre. Collect it. We are going to um, take some... Uh, rad away and then I'm going to eat some food to get my health back mongrel, not mongrel dog meat, mutt chops there, get our health back <laughs> well alright uh, there you go, there is another episode of Fallout 76 in the books this was kind of a weird episode. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the word weird since I've used it so much and now I've commented on it. So now it's kind of like when you point out that somebody says uh a lot and you notice that like every other sentence has uh in it. So now that I've mentioned that I use the word weird a lot, well I do use the word weird a lot. This is where this episode ends. Right after I walk over here and pick this stuff up. We'll come back next time I might as well just go ahead and keep exploring around this area. It's a uh, part of the map that we haven't explored yet. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will come across some more mole miners. And uh, we could then kill them. And um, take their precious black titanium from them. That will probably happen. If we keep walking around out here, even though it didn't happen in this episode. Uh, in, that, in that direction is a mine... Uh, that's not on my map. Uh, over there is like a little hut that's not on my map. In that direction are some train tracks, which is probably Mount Blair Train Yard. So in that direction, there's still more things left to see. We will see them in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me again on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the most exciting episode. But uh, I, I, there's still something about exploring that I still really enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, why don't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Sure, hope you join me again in the next episode.